Do you have a game that you want to see us play on this channel? If you do, pop along to our Discord. The link is in the video description below and post request there. If your game we find suitable for the channel, we will actually play this for you. Thank you, thank you very much. So, welcome to today's video. This is Perini. This is going to be a bit of a long video and we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to start a brand new game when we play this. I've played a lot of this already. And then when we go through the tutorial, so to speak, I will then um, stop that and then I will load my saving and show you a bit more of the advanced game, a bit more how things progress and really show you what you get for your money. This isn't expensive. It's only just come out on Steam, but it's a lovely, lovely, beautiful little game. It's a rogue building game, a deck building game, a random game, a dungeon type game, an adventure type game. It looks so easy, but you have to use your head when you play. So without further ado, let's start this game. So we're going to do new game, I think. And we're going to go to empty slot there and we're starting literally afresh. So basically, something has happened and we have to deal with this. So the village, she's got to get back to her village. And you know, this is Antonia, I can't pronounce her name. Um, but this lady here, she's got to get back to her village because she didn't have much success at murdering the rabbit at the beginning. So we're just going to hit return there. And you can move around using WASD or the arrow keys or your mouse. Um, okay, so move to the healing potion to restore your strength. Well... This is easy. We are basically in a friendly area here for the moment, so we can move around as we want. But the rules do change when you get into the main game. This will be bookmarked the hell out. So this is a tutorial we're doing. When we finish with this, we will play the main game, but I will be loading a saved game that I've already got. So you can see a little bit further into the game, and it won't spoil everything early on for you. So that will also be a new adventure if you decide to play this. This is available on Steam. It only costs um, 10 quid or something like that, you know, and it really is good value for money. All right, so that's better. Now you want to find your way back to the village. Um, so the map shows the zones you must travel through. That is basically above me at the moment. So the red square is where I am at the moment, and there's a little dot to show me as well. Um, the white square is where I can go. Uh, the grey square is unvisited because I've got to go through the white square first to get to the grey square. So we hit return there, and we go to the arrow where she wants. So boom, boom, there we go. We're here. Now you're entering a danger zone, and... Archer, this is nothing to do with Archer who always enters the danger zone. No, no, no. This is a danger zone in this game. So you're entering the danger zone. Your goal is to find the Voltive Altar. So basically, when you find the altars, uh, you can touch them and you get a bonus for clearing the zone. And you can essentially, you know, move to the next zone or the next area. So we're going to hit return here. To do this, move from card to card. So cursor keys or WASD, as it says. And however, once you've made a move, you won't be able to retrace your steps. So when you're in the danger zone, you can only effectively move um, across squares that you haven't touched on before, where you can move to cards. Um, you can end up stuck, so you need to sleep, which resets all the cards, and we'll explain that in a moment's time. But no, go with me on this. It sounds like there's a lot, but it gently, gently takes you through. All right, so you can use the mouse over the cards to see their effects. All right, so this is us. Okay, and then we can look at the skeleton. Resurrection deals one damage. Uh, he deals two damage. And you can see what they are. And this deals two damage to the enemy with the most HP. So if we hit that, um, the, the, this donkey here, Drac, um, will get damaged, you know. And do they all have different names, actually? No, it's just the names of the beasts. Now, interestingly, when I attack something, it will do that one damage for me, regardless of what happens when I attack. So I will go down to nine points at that uh, yeah at that point that i choose to attack anyway what we're gonna do is we are gonna attack the skeleton now this has resurrection and basically i just push up on the keyboard and it attacks it 
and it resurrects it again. When you move on, on an enemy, uh, confrontation. When you move on an enemy, a confrontation is automatically triggered. So it's kind of an auto battler. Um, you inflict as much damage on each as you have HP health points. Okay, and HP are indicated on the card and on your enemy's cards. So lovely, lovely. Let's close that down. You killed this enemy because you had more HP than it did, but it still dealt you damage. So as I say, anything they've got in their hearts, they will cause you damage back. So if your HP drops to zero, you fail. So, you know, we, we've won many expeditions. Anyway, so when you kill an enemy, it leaves a loot card. Well, this didn't leave a loot card because it resurrected itself. Right, so we can move up again, which is going to move our health to eight and kill that enemy. And there you go, it left gold. So we move up and we collect the gold. And essentially, we're going to move around here and attack that enemy there, collect that gold, attack that enemy there, collect that gold. To discover the Voltive Altar, you need to spend the night. This will allow you to draw new cards to fill the empty spaces. Right, so let's click on there. And however, however, spending the night requires you to consume two provisions. So basically, these provisions here is what you want to do um, to spend the night. If you don't have enough provisions, you will lose health. So, um, however, be careful. Enemies gain one max, uh, max HP during the night. So essentially, what it said is if we didn't have enough provisions say we had zero provisions here it would cost us two health under here but you can't see that because my webcam is there so we just swap that so this square here where we've got the two health there if we didn't have five apples here we had zero apples um it would cost us two hp if we had one apple it would cost us one apple and one hp you know you get the picture so let's move ourselves back all right now we're back so spend the night we click on here and all the enemies get a little bit more health, um, so to speak. But I don't think it did it then. Or did we not spend a night? No, we didn't spend a night. So it didn't take the click. Basically, when we spend a night, these carriers will fill up with unused cards. So we do that. And they all get more health, so to speak. But the altar appears. And we have to touch this altar to exit where we are. Now, um, let's see. I've got four health here. But I probably want that. So if I move to that and take that, my health is now eight. I'm going to attack that enemy there, grab the coins, and I'm going to sleep again. Because we can. We can do that. That's fine. Right, get some more health so we're up to ten. We're going to hit that skeleton. Hit it again. And then I'm doing this for a specific reason. Move down. Get the donkey. And this is the weapon. So the single bone deals two damage to enemies with the most HP. So theoretically, you will be two, and you will be two if we use that bow. Oh, it only did one of them. All right, fair enough then. Well, we're a little bit stuck. We've got to carry on. We can't go and attack this goblin. Um, it is a goblin because he has got more health than us. We've only got three. This has got four, and we will die. We cannot spend another night to create some more cards here. Um, if we don't, if we if, if we create cards here by spending the night, it will kill us because it's going to take four health, and we've only got three health. So we have to touch the altar. But point being, these cards here, there is a set amount of cards that you have to draw before the altar appears. One of the level ups, one of the bonuses you can get um, is where it is a tals talisman and it creates a little counter up here that tells you how many cards you need to do before the Volta appears. Anyway, we're just going to touch the Voltive Altar and there we go. You've reached the altar. Now, immediately it restores the HP. You can see I'm back at 15 HP there. Um, there you go. The zone is clear, fully restored HP and provisions. And once the zone is cleared, you can move around freely. So, the only way we can go is down here, okay, and the wheat field, the wheat field, it will soon be ready for harvesting. This is boring, but I can tell you what happens next when we go through the wheat field, we go to our village. And this is our village, so the quest completed, back to the village, and, you know, we've got a barn here. If we go into the barn, it takes a look at the details of your latest expedition. Well, it's empty because we're currently not on one at the moment. Um, we could click on here, and that shows our quests, what we've done and what we will do. So, yeah, that's quite an easy one that's happened here. And we can go to the village and see the village is wrecked. We've got a little bit of talky-talky stuff at the moment, so we're just going to click through this. Um, yeah, okay, she's talking to her mum, talking about creatures. Uh, they escaped before the monsters got to the village, but the monsters 
wrecked the village because they were they, they, they were bad monsters. Okay, and we've got to collect wood. Now, wood allows you to basically increase these buildings, fix these buildings. So I'm swapping my webcam again. And if you look under here, we've got zero wood. So yeah, we, 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 we have no hardwood. We're not hard here. So with no wood, we can't do anything with our village. So let's put the webcam back. And it, when we have enough wood that we've collected, these buildings here that are slightly faded out in the background, we can increase in in... in basically health and they will do things when they're built so what we need to do is we go down here and we're going to cross here and i'm literally just going to do the first expedition for you in grasslands to show you what it is and then we are going to save or not save but then we're going to quit back to the main menu rather and then i'm going to load in a save game so you can see it in a little bit more advanced state so we go to grasslands and you get this little map here where you can continue to the areas. As you progress in the game, this gets a little bit bigger. So continue. When you're in a safe zone, you can modify your equipment deck. The equipment cards shown will be drawn in the next danger zones. This is because uh, danger zones cards carry a mix of equipment cards and enemy cards. Alright, so see your deck, click on this button. And it's this button here. So your deck is this. Now... The cards at the bottom are greyed out, and it's not necessarily the ones at the bottom, but you have equipment slots. So at the moment, we've only got five equipment slots, but we've got six pieces of equipment. Um, weapons are loaded up front, and when it draws your cards, it draws them in the order that's here. So I can put, for instance, this, this blueberry that's not part of the deck at all. Oh, hang on. That's not part of the deck at all. I can put up here. And it will draw that first and i'm doing that as a demo just to show you this at this point so that's a blueberry it gives you one provision and one spirit this is a bow this is a knife every time you put your cursor over something it tells you what it does the info tab shows you her stats when you increase the tabbing to level two you can edit her start off stats as well you can't increase the maximum points which is going to be 25 with all these but you can do plus and minuses on some of these but we have a long long way from that so this is a special power that she's got here you click on that and if you look on the top right hand side of the screen at the top right up here it shows you what it is cards row cards in the same row and column um gets four damage so we're going to go with this and notice the blueberry when we started was a grayed out card but this will appear on the first fill of the screen and you know just remember blueberry bow knife health and we might see the herb we might not it depends how many monsters it puts there so in order to go to the danger zone archer would be pleased we move across here and it fills these out so you can see blueberry um bow knife and we have got in our deck um this which will appear after we sleep and that will appear after we sleep so you know it gets refreshed it does get refreshed so what do we got to do we have got to basically clear all these to get the altar um, to appear and this is because of the danger zone the votive altar we don't know how many we need to clear um, you know we don't have the number up here we haven't got the talisman to do this this little map here um, just shows us on grasslands where we are so basically we, we're in the square and then we have to move effectively south um, to the exit screen uh, when we've done that so now let's close the map and let's fight let's fight so first thing we want to do is that this is a bad position so if i take that it's only going to attack this guy here we've got a lot of health but the hunting knife does one damage to a random enemy so we might as well take that we might as well take that so we move across here okay oh it did more than one enemy one enemy good my teeth one person so that's fine all right, so we're gonna attack the donkey, get spirits. These spirits here, which you see here, um, there's a, uh, let me, uh, just under my webcam here, you can see it says lateral shots. That is a bonus, that is a special ability that I've got, and it will do four damages to in, in the Roman column, um, and we mentioned it already, but the spirits, the spirit stuff you get here is what actually does that, and then directly under my webcam that you can't see is the word uh, sleep so we can spend the night and basically that will cost us one provision one apple at the moment so let's move up to kill you get the coins get the coins get the berries now I'm in a position where I can't sleep anymore I can't do anything else because I can't move I'm stuck so before we sleep we're gonna have a look at the danger zone deck so this is let's get through all of here come on come on, come on. 
it's faster, faster. Right, this is a list of all the things that can appear in this zone. There isn't that much. And these are cards from my deck. So these are the only cards that can appear in the zone. That's fine for the moment, but we need to sleep. So we're going to sleep. And we got more strange unicorns. God, you wouldn't want a unicorn like that. Kim Jong-un wouldn't be pleased to see that unicorn because I believe in, um, I got it, in, in North Korea. Um, they have actually found the unicorn's cage. Anyway, let's increase our health. Boom. We can't go left. Um, we can then attack that unicorn. Grab some gold. And you see the gold here, um, which we can spend at some point. You'll see that when we play uh, my save game. Kill him. Move that. Kill him. Um, get the gold. Now, we have no uh, Voltive Altar to touch. So we need to sleep, which is going to cost us two provisions because it says so. And there you go. We've got the altar here. Now, the altars are really good. So, in fact, I might as well just use that single bow. Um, do the spirit. Do an attack. And attack again. And notice, when I now kill these enemies, when the altar is here, you get Voltive Shroud. And if, this is value 1. So we can touch it. And it goes to value 2. We can collect wood. We can get wood because that's what we need to do to rebuild our things. We can get the herbs. We can get that. And that is now at value 3. And that is great. Because that means that I will get a better prize. So the higher you can increase this number on the vault, the best prize that you get. So we're going to sleep. And we take damage because the sleeping was one, one provision and one health. We didn't have any provision. So, you know, we were in a bit of difficulty here. So we have to do a bit of maths here. So 11, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's going, to, it's going to cost four hearts to sleep. So the best we can do on this run is go down here, go down there, attack that, take that to a four, grab that. We've now got some more health. Attack, attack, and we go here. Now, it's going to cost us four health um, to sleep. Let me just show you this. So webcam switched, and look at that. You've got, a you've got four health that it's going to cost here because we have no provisions. Um, we'll switch that back um, and we are going to sleep we might as well sleep because we'll get one reset of this and you never know we might have some health immediately next to us so we'll do a sleep and let's have a go look let's have a look all right so we can collect the gold in fact no this what's that first no right we have to do this in the right order if i go down attack that um, and, and then maybe uh, then move around. I will block off my path to the altar. So we've got, we, we've got to get this absolutely right. So we, we need to get back to the altar no matter what. So I think we can go left, get the gold. We can increase our spirit. So that should take this number to six by going down. Um, we've got two health. We attack it we will have one health so we're going to attack you once we can pick that up this goes to seven we move right okay and this here it heals you one hp and removes any negative stats so we've now got two hp but we can then attack um the north korean unicorn that's been a bit high and had a few acid pills um and then we can touch the altar and we have a great altar so there we go so this a holy feather which is great. A feather allows your endurance. So if we look at this, we can only use these five cards here. So let's close that. We pick up the feather. And now, now, we can use all six of these cards. And again, you rearrange the cards in the order that you want. I put this blueberry at the front so you could see um, to, that, that it does matter in how these are. Right. And then we open the equipment chest on the altar. And this will give us another card. And one of these cards will be added to the deck. So, this card here, what does this do? Okay, so this is good. Uh, this will damage a random enemy um, if we have it. So, you know, we move and it does one damage to one random enemy. Uh, generates one random card. Deals two damage to all enemies. Heals your HP by the total of damage inflicted. So, you know what? We will take that one and just say okay. And we got a new card. And this is how... You build your cards on the run. So now we've got this. Notice that I need to get one more of those feather icons from a chest or something like that to increase 
um, the ability to be able to carry this card. But it doesn't matter. We can move that to there. And now we have that card in play. The blueberries are now out of play. So yeah, very, very simple how that works. So, and we can basically exit where we are. You can go back onto old squares. You know, the areas don't regenerate. And you just move down. So this is a corrupted altar here. So this will probably be the last playthrough we do of this opening tutorial, which explains the, the basic mechanics on how this works. So we need to make this a good one. And, and then we can exit the zone. So we touch that. And we have to find the Voltive Altar, which means that we've got a clear set amount of things here. Now, I did a mistake. Yeah, that gem, I should have probably moved right to the front. Then I could have just left it in the play field. But hey-ho, we work with what we've got. So we might as well just get that and do some damage. Attack upwards. Move there. Move there. And you know what? I'm going to sleep now. It will cost me one apple to sleep. I've got five apples here. I click on sleep. And there, our blue crystal has arrived. So theoretically, the way this works is every time we move, if it, we do what it says, as long as this card is in play, which means on the deck here, um, it deals one damage to a random enemy. So I would expect you, you, or you to be hurt. So let's move down. There you go. One damage to you. So we move into you to attack. And the Phoenix got attacked there. We can click the gold. And the Phoenix is attacked again. We can move and do that. And look at this. It clears for you. It's really, really good. Alright, so we can't move anymore because we are stuck. Um, there, there is a, a later on in the game when you're in some areas ways that you can bypass this. But for the moment we can't. So we're just clicking on sleep. And we've got all of these. And it shouldn't be a big problem. We have got a lot of health here. And let's see. It wants us to use uh, two apples and one, 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 one health here. Um, but we, we, we want to increase this altar we do. So we're going to move up. Now this guy here. Look, he's got a shield. So I'm going to hit him for 14. It's going to break the shield and do that. But I will get two damage that will take me down to 12. Okay. And because of this card in play here. This guy, the unicorn, got hit. So we grab that. We attack there. And using this, uh, apples will give us more provisions so we can sleep okay. That fixes health. And we get that. So we're now on 11 health. And it's three provisions to sleep at night because we've now got five. So we're clicking on sleep. And what I'm doing is we're going to just basically go through this whole field. Okay, so Atlanta special power is now ready to use. Okay, which I will demonstrate now. I think I think we should demonstrate this. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yep. So we've got eight spirits, and I'm going to use the power, which is going to shoot in those directions. And there you go. Skeletons took a bit of a kick in there, didn't they? All right, so we get that. We get that. We get that. How do we do this correctly? How do we do this correctly? We get that. We move down. We get that. That's now on eight. I can't move to get this, but I'm going to sleep for two health and two provisions. And use a chance to maybe increase everything that we've got. But it's going to take five health. So if I just move the camera away, it takes five health next time I click on that sleep here. And that five health is going to be, well, it's critical um, that I have five health to sleep. Um, so we'll see how this goes. So we move there. We take that to a nine. We move up. I've got nine health at the moment. Okay. We can hit you. Move across. This is now at level ten. We got all. Oh. Takes two extra damage on receiving damage. All right, so. We, we, we now could get badly hurt here. We're going to touch the altar. Okay, so we touch the altar. Now, we can move around freely here. Ignore Dark Forest for a moment. And we can get an apple, which increases our provision amount. Uh, we can go to the Dark Forest when we've opened that chest. And these are relics. So, the cards on which you can move are chosen at random. I don't know whether we want that. When you receive gold, you heal 1 HP. That looks good. 
we might take that. And using a power costing six spirits or more gives you plus one to a card you play from your deck permanently. Um, we should take that, I think, and do confirm. When you play this, you might see a little clover under one of these once in a while. If you see the clover, that's the recommendation from the game that that's the card it wants you to take. So we've got the relic. Relics give you a passive effect for your current expedition. And if we go here and look at C, oh, go on, C, we should be able to go to relics here, I think. There we go. And there's our relic explaining what we've got. So yes, yes, yes. Provisions have increased. Endurance have increased from her base stats here. So 25 was the points she originally had. You know, this takes us to 27. So you can slowly increase all of these. Anyway, let's go back here. So the tutorial will be nearly done in Dark Forest. So do we want to go to the next biodome? Yes, we do. All right, and we move across here. All right, so this is the map that we've got. We are the red square. We go here, and we are going to have, um, you know, an additional thing here. So some environments, such as Dark Forest, have special rules that are indicated by this icon. All right, so basically, um, what it means is, let me stop this. Uh, I can click on this bonus here, and I will swap positions with the fire, the firefly. It's like a teleport. It really is. But having a look at what we've got here, we want the altar to appear so we can touch it. So we've got a choice. We can move up here and that will heal 4 HP. We don't want that. Um, we can move here um, and it will do 1 HP because 4 HP is going to be wasted because our limit is 15. So we do that. And you know what? We're going to whoa, whoa, deals 5 damage to the one with the most HP. All right. This, but this is a, this monster here. If you move into this square, it will have a free attack because it's looking that way. So you will immediately have. If I, if I kill her for free, I will be down to 12 points. If I then move down to collect the gold or whatever she leaves, um, he will then come across. I'm assuming it's a he. Um, I don't know his pronouns. He might identify as a blob. So blob will move across here and um, automatically hit me for free. Uh, taking me down to nine and then when I attack blob um, or blobette or whatever it may be identified as um, I will lose more points so the sensible play here is get the bow and it killed him that was good luck we're then gonna do the knife which does a few random hits we're gonna hit you we're gonna hit you we're gonna grab that we're gonna grab that and I am gonna use one for the fireflies so I have one spirit here I'm going to use that. I've now got zero spirits. We swap positions. I can go up and heal myself and collect a new spirit. And I'm going to swap positions again. There you go. And I'm going to attack this one here. And I can collect that. And there we go. We are ready now to go to sleep, which is only going to cost one apple. Um, so there we are. We've got our lovely blue crystal here. Um, every move will hurt somebody. So let's get some provisions. The provisions are like HP. They cannot bust the limit. Now, wood is what we want to rebuild things in the village. This will give us two wood. That will give us one. But because it's corrupted, it gives additional HP to enemies. So ideally, when you have wood like this on, on, on the table, you want to kill all the enemies first and then collect your wood. But we're not going to do that. We're going to move over here. Everyone gets stronger. Hit that. Move up. Move up. And... We're gonna. Oh, we haven't got any spirit stuff left, so we're stuck. We can click that crystal, but we are not gonna do that because that will remove this power from the board. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend the night. All right, so we are gonna move down here, hit you, grab that. Now we can collect the wood, there's no enemies on the board, so it doesn't matter. And let's see whether we can use this. You're about to use a special power that has no direct effect. Now, this is because the Firefly is in this corner here and there is no part of the game board there. So all we can do is sleep using the free provisions that it's got. All right, so we'll move down. Okay, and I think that we will just clear this level and leave. Oh, we've got a problem. So if I move to here, I'm immediately going to be hit for two points. In fact, might as, well, might as well demonstrate it. It's because the eye is looking to the right. Okay, so it hit me for a few points there. 
Okay, the spirit thing kicks in. We'll collect that, move that, and do that. So there we go. We can collect the plants that gives us additional health. And then we can collect that, which is going to open up and give us something else. So here we are. Healing staff, shield. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do the shield for the purpose of this demo. Depending on what happens next. And we go down here. And this is a tradesperson that we can speak to. We can purchase one of these. We're not going to bother, I think, for the moment. Um, we go forward, forward, forward. And this is an anvil. So if we go to the anvil, it gives plus one to the selected card. So we click on upgrade. And if we click on here, and here we go. So we're going to click on the blue crystal. We're going to upgrade this. So now the crystal gives two damage. We go to our deck. And we're going to put the crystal here. So it definitely appears. Um, and then we're going to close that. So now we're in a position to hopefully clear this area. Right, this was always a fear that you're in an area where you can only move forward one position. So we cannot go left. You know, we can use the firefly to swap positions. But no, we need to kill a few things here. This guy here is looking to the right, so he won't attack. Alright, we're going to move here. Attack. Go down. Go down. And then we will... What will we do? Yeah, I'll use, I'll use the firefly to move. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. And then we'll sleep. So, we can kill enemies quite well now because this does two damage as I say so let's just move here and he died we have to attack that one bit of a silly move I did there but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all and we're gonna where's the firefly it's up there all right we're gonna sleep for two apples so the altar has appeared hell the altar all right it's three apples to sleep that's what it says at the bottom right uh, we've now got six apples they get more power because that's corrupted wood we touched. And we do the coins. I'm going to use the altar to swap positions. And then we're going to move here. Hit you. Move down. Move that. And try and increase that. We're going to sleep for three apples. And see what damage we can do to everything. Oh lovely. Look at that. The pain. Feel my pain. Well feel your own pain really. Um... We're going to sleep for three apples and one health. Alright, so move. And this is a great upgrade to this blue crystal. This blue crystal is really good. Get the herbs. Okay, can't do much more. The ultra is on 10. It will kill it. It will do five health damage when we sleep because we've got no provisions. But that's alright. Well, we want to think about this because we don't want to wreck this one because it's going to cost us six health next time but we have got this power here so it deals four damage to all enemies in the same row and column right so let, let, let's do that so everybody got hit for a fair bit there i'm looking at the stats here so if i move that way that way that way all right we can get that quite high so we can move here oh hang on that's going to attack us. Right, we will survive by one point. So that comes down and hits us. Oh, we oh, we died. The crystal killed it. Ah, good. So we've now got a 15 altar. We move down there. And look at this. We've got a, an apple. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, which increases our provisions. Then we move to the relic. What relic will we get? So when you receive provisions, you get HP. With this power cost and six spirits, you get plus one on any card. Okay. Uh, using a special power deals as many damage to all non-boss enemies as it costs in spirits. Let's take that. Because I think if we use the Firefly, that will damage people. Alright, now what can we see? There is a boss to the right um, by that skull. And above here, we've got a person. Can we buy anything from you? We are going to buy Endurance. So that will allow us to have one more card in play. And we're going to go back here. We're going to go to our cards. And okay. We'll put that there. There we go. 
Alright, so we're going to go back and we're going to fight the boss. And this tutorial is nearly over. You know, it's taken a little while, you know, we're like 35 minutes in. But I'm doing my best to show you this awesome game. Alright, so the only thing we need to do is defeat the boss. We've got to defeat that guy here. He's quite low at the moment. We are super, super powered. Notice the rain weather effects can change the classic rules of the game. Alright, so it's telling us to move the mouse over it. And when a status is applied, it doubles the values. And we've got the firefly as well. So the firefly is by the bow. Now I want I've got I've got no spirits. Alright, now I've got a spirit. So using, if we look here, go into info, go into artifacts. Okay, this will deal damage to all non-boss enemies in play. So I'm thinking here that when I use the firefly to swap positions with the boss that will become two that will become three that will become five that will, and you, you get the idea that actually may only come six and three because he's got a shield so let's use it and see if I'm right there you go so you've got to look very carefully about what you've got the ability to do things with I'm not going to touch this guy because this guy has got um, poison and I don't want to be poisoned so no we're going to move up go here and they're gone move across attack down so you'll see random things getting attacked here there we go and the bosses are now only got four health we can hit the little dinosaur and the boss is nearly gone and the boss is now an altar but we have to sleep because I'm out of moves. I can't move forward anymore. I can't move because I can't go up. I can't go right. So we, and you, you can't go diagonal. I don't think. No, you can't do diagonals. Um, so yeah, I have to. I've got to sleep. I am going to sleep. So two apples to sleep. All right. There's a few more things here. We can move across here. We can get the wood. Doesn't matter. We're doing mega mega damage to everything up here safely grab that wood and touch the altar and that is the boss defeated now okay so this Zoe is a character that I've already unlocked previously um, you know it's, it's a strange little ferret here it's a strange little ferret and uh, yeah they run here and they demonstrate what happens so when they touch this version um, it's the end of the level so we can get the rest of the wood and quest completed wood for Mad Hyder. And we go here and we scored 57. So we go back to the village and this is where the tutorial is just about over. Wait a minute, that's our barn. I'm back at the village. What the? Okay, yes, yes, yes. So we go down here and there's lots of talky talky things that I'm going to just click through really quickly because this is for you to discover. All right, now basically we've got 14 wood so we can go. Where shall we go? You know, we'll go to the tavern and add free wood to rebuild. So one, two, three. And the tavern has now been rebuilt. Okay. A new feature unlocked. You can now change your playable characters at the tavern. All right. We can upgrade to level two as well. We don't have 21 wood, um, but it wants us to upgrade all the other buildings. So, you know, there is a slow progression that you can do. Um, we can upgrade you. And we're just going to do it six wood there and the workshop has now been built and luck your character now has a luck stat and a phineas whatever that word is so now let's explain this a bit better these stones here is what you can collect in the map and when you collect them in the map and this is like the areas we've just been you can then add them to these you can spend these stones on upgrades on things that you will see effectively as you go on the journey together and and, and it helps you build a, a good run for a good character so that has been the introduction dear lord 39 minutes i'm so sorry um i knew this was going to be a long one now what we're going to do is we go back to the main menu and we are going to load my game so we are load game and oh no no wrong one i was trying to delete it actually uh back to menu Uh, load game. Alright, so delete mode. Alright, let's delete you. Confirm. Turn that off. 
and load game. So right, this is the same character here. Um, I prefer this character out of all the ones it gives you. And you can see things have been upgraded a fair bit. You know, we've got new people there. I'm not going to show you any dialogue unless I have to on here. But no, we're going to go on a journey to the Dark Forest. And have a look at this. This character um, has currently got weaker stats than the one that you saw previously. Let's look at her card deck. And, you know, it's all very basic. And this is because she died. She died on the previous run. So we're not carrying on a run. You know, we're recovering from death. But, you know, we've got a choice. We've got dark forests, mountains, and caves. And, you know what? We'll have a look at the caves, shall we? And I'm just going to do one run of this until we die. And that's it. But it just shows you a little bit more about the game. And notice here, we've now got four stages to get through. So continue. And this is a map that's opened up. This here, a torch lights up your surroundings after each move, it level decreases by one. Okay, so we go down here, down here, and we're in another danger zone. But look at these monsters, and if we click on that, that will show us all the type of cards that can appear in this area. So we've got nothing good here in terms of weapons or anything, so we've got to try and safely clear this. So we've got no bonuses, nothing before, so everything that happened before is no longer in existence. So we're going to grab the knife. Okay, that did quite well for us. It killed a few things. Unfortunately, I had to waste that healing potion. The torch adds more light. We have got no uh, firefly here. Um, we're going to grab the bow, kill that, go that, go that. And we basically are going to lie another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards down. Um, and you know the altar will appear after X amount of time. We haven't got the number here because we haven't got that bonus, but we have to sleep for one for one apple. All right, so grab some provisions, grab a spirit, uh, grab that, attack you, grab that, attack you, and go up. Now this is brilliant. The root card heals you one HP for every empty space in play. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So when we grab that, we're going to go back up to 15. But I'm not going to touch it yet. We're just going to sleep and see what we have. All right, so I can move down. I can attack you. I can move across. I can attack you. Sleeping will be only three apples. I can move up. I can attack you. And I'm going to move to you. So 12 to 15, we're going to sleep again. And I know there was a bonus there, that's fine. So we go down. So this item here, this has got dodge. And that's a bit of a pain in the neck. Now I can kill it. Dodge is good for yourself, but not for that. All right, hit you once. Grab that. So move up and our health will go back up to eight. Oh, nine. Okay, fair enough and grab that of course nine because i would have left an empty square and now this is worth six so the chest will be worth six points here um i can sleep for four health that i'm gonna do might as well have a look and see what's around um so we can increase that to uh choices choices we can increase that maybe to seven yes we can go down once and go to four yeah, we have to do that. Okay, perfect. All right, so we can grab the holy plant. Now, can you spot what it's going to do? Yes, it gives you one extra HP. We then open the chest. And we have all these items. Now, bear in mind, I've been playing a fair bit. So there are some unlocks that have happened here. So we have one damage to healing stuff to all enemies. Heals HP by the total damage there. Um, gives you two dodge. It inflicts two burn on enemies around you. Randomly gives you between one and four spirits. Well, you know what? We, we, we'll take... We'll take that. And we go to our cards. And the fire cloak. We'll put that. We'll put that. I think, yep, that will work. But no, I can't. Nah. Actually, no, that, that will do for the moment. In fact, no, solid. No, no, no. That can go to the back. And the reason I'm moving around is I want those provisions. So... Yeah, we, we got to go with what we got. So, up here is the start room. All we can do is go down here. And then we go through here. And we got a battle that we have to do. So, you know, again, it's the same as what we've done before. The root being the real strong thing to have. That's quite useful as well. 
So I think we'll go this way. Okay, hit that enemy. We're not going to move there, because if we move here, we're trapped a little bit. In terms of we have to go tonight. Get some health. Attack you. Alright, so we're now going to... Yeah, what do we do? Yeah, well, we'll sleep. We'll sleep. All right, I wanted the provisions. There they are. Hit you for five. Go down. Grab some health. Hit you for four. Grab that that lights the area up a bit. Get that spirit. And now we get the root that gives us seven health that takes us quite a way up. Um, move down here. And I reckon that the altar will appear on one of these squares after we sleep. And yes, there it is. It's down there. All right, so we've got 12 health. Two, three. Hmm. And that's got dodge. Okay, we haven't got enough uh, spirits to use this power here. So realistically, our best move is go down here, attack you, attack you, and we can sleep. We, we, can, we can sleep for free and see what it does. So that's free apples here. Okay, that could be a mistake. I can't remember what was there. I can't remember what was there. Damn it. All right, sod it. We're just going to do the altar here. All right, so we have now got a holy feather, which gives us one more card slot here. So we might as well put that there now. Click the coins. Always remember to adjust your cards in these areas. We might need to adjust it again, depending on this. But it gives plus one to all shield gains. Adds two apple cards to all danger zones. Before spending the night, all cards in play receive free dodges, enemies and you. <gasps> no. Alright, we'll do the apple one. That doesn't look a good card. Alright, and we move to the grasslands. Would you like to you move to the next biodome? Yes, we do. And off we trot. Off we go. So then continue. Right, now. This character here you won't see for a while. Guardian of the Forest and Souls Wonder here. Her words inspire both luck and wisdom. So we're going to touch her. And this bonus will increase your chance of taming cards and relics based on this affinity. Alright, so I think we probably want dodge. I like dodge. So yeah, let's do dodge. Um, dodge is very, very helpful. Alright, and we now move through the forest. So she was an unlock that I got earlier on. Um, but as I say, you know, I'm not spoiling uh, some of the early game stuff for you. You can discover that for yourself. But this just shows... We're about, I think we're about 30% through the game here at the moment. This just shows you a little bit of the end of early game stages, what you get here, what it looks like. So what do we got? We got this one damage to a random enemy. You know, we've got five damage to an enemy with the most HP. Um, right, so let's, let's do that. All right, kill the Phoenix. Kill you, you regenerate, kill you. Grab that. Now, Fireball. Inflicts two burn to two random enemy cards in play. Now I'm going to move up and I'm going to attack you. Now if my understanding is right, when I sleep, these two guys are going to catch fire. Let's see. So we're going to go to sleep for one apple. And there they go. And they caught fire because they had burn. Alright, so. Get that. Attack you. You've got burn. Grab that. Balls. Didn't want to grab that yet, but you know what? It was worth doing. Um, it clears the area and hopefully gives us our altar. No, it doesn't. No. All right, the altar will definitely appear next time round. So we can kill you. Kill you. Heal. Get provisions. Sleep for three apples and the altar should appear. All right, so we know our journey is to collect wood. But I'm looking at this. Thinking, do I bother with wood? No, because we're kind of just doing a demo here. Let's get the provisions. Let's attack you. Attack you again. Move down. Move across. And you know what? I'm going to sleep because I've got a plan. And sleep will cost me four apples. Okay, I'm now going to use my lateral shots. So it will shoot this way. And this way. 
All right, perfect. So I move there, I move there, I move there, I move there, and there we go. We got that area. So we've got an apple, so provisions will be six. And let's see what equipment we've got. Always remember, as I say, to move things if you need to. Sets your shield equal to your lost HP. Inflicts two form cards around you, then pushes them back. Let's do that one, confirm. So that's a defensive card that we've got here. So we're gonna pop you there, yes. No, actually, let's pop you here. Nope, there. So we've got you for the late game. All right, I'll just check something. Info. So the apple cards adds two apple cards to all danger zones. That's why we can move that apple card because this here, this one here, the Book of Abundance gives us apple cards. All right, so let's go up here. Let's go here and we can buy things off her as well. So we've got 19 gold. So adds two fireball cards to the danger zone. You will receive a shield. When an enemy receives bleed, they receive burn. When you receive gold, you heal one HP. Gives plus four to volative altars. Yes, we want that. And we want that. Adds an iron shield card to the start of all future bind domes. Yes. All right, glorious. And when you play, you will only have four items here. She's been upgraded because of the village as well. All right, now. In the tutorial, I, oh, it's, it was gold, damn. Well, I thought we were going to collect a special funky stone, but clearly not. Um, let's go, where do we go, where do we go, where do we go? Let's go this way. There's an anvil on the map on the top right-hand corner that I was looking at, which was made me think, ah, how do we get to that? All right, grab you, grab you. So we've got 16 health. So we're just going to clear as much as possible here. I'm going to have to sleep because I don't want that cloak wasted. Alright, there we go. So, up there. You're gone. Use the knife. So the knife took out a skeleton. Got you. Got you. It's two apples, two provisions to move to the next zone. Kill the skeleton. Grab you. Grab you, and boom, we're ready to start again. All right, so let's take the chainmail. So, because I've got 16 health, um, but I only had 14 left, that gives me two there, which is fine. All right, I've got burn, which probably isn't the best to have. He's got resurrection, so we kill them again. He's got a shield, but he's easy to kill. Move down, hit you once. All right, so this is now nine. Nine, so this could be good. We're gonna go for one more sleep. Okay, so I can get, I can safely get uh, one more to take that up to a 10. Okay, now I sleep, now I sleep. All right, so we get the apple. Seven provisions, and now we get a relic. I do like opening these chests. All right, make an make an enemy receive burn. It take make an enemy receive burn. It takes eight damage. I use a special power. Also spends the night for free. When an enemy takes burn, damage you receive as many shield. Now that's what we want. We want that. All right. So what do we do? What do we do? We got twelve gold. We got twelve gold. So we are gonna head this way to the anvil okay also it's an altar so it's an altar all right yes we've got just enough so right this allows us to increase um uh, three provisions and one gold for each enemy in play so what we do is we pick a card we might as well pick we'll pick you actually and there you go so we get three provisions and more gold so this is a bonus to this card you know it's like a, a leveled up card but we're at the top right hand side of the map if you look very closely you should notice something I'll, I'll give you a few seconds to have a look here have you seen it I don't know whether you've seen it but we have an extra arrow this is called a bonus zone 
and this is unlocked using an item in the village. So when we go here, the bonus zone always gives you extra stuff. So that's great. Oh, can't do that. But yeah, this that, that arrow there is unlocked. So it creates a square that is not shown on the top right map here. So we go down here. And we're going to go down here. And this is a corrupted altar. So we now need to fight everybody again. Oh dear lord. Look at all those enemies. Alright. So, the sensible move is to do damage to the most of them. And I think if we go up here, that's damaged. I can now do damage to one, two, three, four with this power there. Let's hit you. Okay, that helps. Hit you. Healed. Grab the gold. And sleep. Okay, we need, we need, what do we need? We need the healing, um, which is just below us. And I don't remember seeing you before. If we click on here, we remember we can see all the cards that can be in play here. Yeah, I don't remember you before. All right, so we will grab the fire cloak. Now, the, the, the this here, the dodge, it goes down every move you have, so it's a bit of a waste. Um, but it was not next to an enemy, so I couldn't really do anything with it. All right, so let's hit you. Go down. Grab the apples. Go up. Grab the health. Hit you. Hit you again. Go down. And I'm not going to move and grab those coins. That is too risky. Alright, good, good, good. So, we can go up. We can grab that. Um, now, look, because we had 16 health, we've now got 9 shield. So we can go up here. We can hit you and get rid of you. We can hit you and get rid of you. No damage to us. I'm reluctant about touching you because you've got poison here. So we're just going to sleep. Your health goes up, by the way. The altar is there, and we're going to use our power to shoot down here and across there. All right, so... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We go up. Hit you. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Hit you. We are poisoned. Let's do a sleep. Let's do a sleep to see how much damage. But it's going to cost us two health and three apples. We do have an exit plan, as I say, by the altar, by, by the altar here. So, if we take that, right, that will inflict free bleed on us, which could be good. Takes extra damage on receiving it. Yeah, I don't think that, that we want that too much. But we can take the we can go up here, and we got twelve on one. So if we go here. Okay, I made a mistake there, but fortunately I survived. I, I forgot the skeleton had resurrect, so I nearly killed myself. But look at this, look at this. So we got that, we got the feather. So again, one more active card. And then hopefully we get something good out of the relic chest. So what is this? Spend the night, gives plus one on all holy cards. Using a power shield, power gives you four shield. Well, I noticed that I said in the tutorial, sometimes you get a little clover that suggests what you want. So yeah, we'll, we'll take that and do confirm. And we're going to the mountains. Yes, we want to move to the next biodome. There you go. Um, how long this video will go on for will be until our death. So, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to stay alive and explain it as we go. But this is a brilliant game. All right, so grab the shield. All right, so... What do we got? We got roots. Roots, remember, heal the amount of empty squares. So if 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 I say went all the way around there and all the way around there, there will be a lot of healing that's going to happen. But we're going to take that. Now, 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 what did you see different? You saw that root card fall down. Basically, I want you to think Tetris columns. When you're in a mountain zone here, everything falls down, which can change a little bit how you play. 
So we're going to take the fire thing here. Okay, he died somehow. Uh, let's increase our stuff there. And we'll sleep. We will sleep for two apples. Alright, you don't fall down, so that's because she's not falling at the moment. Uh, let's go up here, grab that. Grab that. Hit you. Uh, sod it. Grab the root. Grab you. Grab that. Grab the wood. And all we can do is sleep. Okay, so we don't want the chainmail yet. But what we want to do is we want to get the apples. Get the apples again. Hit you. Hit you. Get the chainmail. And look at that. And now we sleep four apples. And oh, we still don't get the altar. Damn it. Alright, apples. This guy here, he's got a wing. So he will move towards you when um, attacked. And now he fell down there. Damn it. Alright, let's sleep again. Alright, so we can... What can we safely do? What is this again? Ah, gains 3 XP if he dies. So, if I, do I get... Oh, maybe not. Oh, hang on, if someone else dies. Oh, there must be a second character there um, on the board. They can be... Let's have a look. It was 3 XP if Baxter dies. Ah, right, okay. So, yeah, if they're both on the board at the same time, uh, yeah, magic can happen. All right, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We have got 12... Uh, so we can probably move there, we can kill you, we can go there, we can use our power, let me just move the camera, if you notice there's a death symbol there, that's because of what it costs, I've only got one provision and it's going to cost me one provision and five health, if I had six provisions um, I wouldn't be dying at night. Excuse me. Apologies. I hate coughing videos. Right. Okay. All we can do is go to the altar. So we grab the plants. We open the relic chest. So when an enemy receives thorns, they receive burn. Enemies appear with two frost. You know what? Let's take that. That will probably upset them a little bit. So we started to the right. We can move upwards. We get an apple. There we go. Plus one provision. We got someone who will sell us something. Purchase any one of the relics for gold. Right, what do we got? Using a special power also heals. Uh, okay. After dodging. Using a power. Power. Okay. Uh, I don't want any of that, thank you. If we go up, we're going to have a bonus thing in this area. Right. So this is one of the runes that you can collect. Uh, when before I thought, oh yeah, we've got that and it was gold. With that rune, it will open up additional things because you can trade them in uh, in one of the rooms in your village. Right, let's go up here. Okay, and this is a danger zone, so we have to fight. Okay, uh, that ended quite well, didn't it? I have to take that because I want to clear as many to get the altar here. So sleep. Because the key is always about getting the altar. Hunting knife. Let's take you out. Right, now I sleep again. I do wish that these areas had the firefly. Right, this is where we want to take a chunk of damage, actually. So we... Ah... Is this going to work? Hmm. Alright, we, we got armour. By a chunk of damage, what I was thinking in my mind was if we took a chunk of damage, we would have a really high shield. But look at this, this guy here, he's got eight. We need to kill him. Alright, we can heal a lot with that root. So now we're going to move up and do that. And we sleep. 
And the altar is there. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Got you. Got you. Hit you. And we're not going to attack that other guy. No, no, no. We're going to just do the altars. Alright, so holy plant. 18 health. Equipment chest this time. Right, what have we got? We've got a hammer. Right, let's take that hammer there, I think. Confirm. Go to our cards. And that hammer can go there. Yeah, this will work. Because remember, if we go here, we had the two apples. So that's fine, that's fine. And yeah, here, here is just relics. Let's change some of your, your base values, I believe. Alright, okay, so... Where can we go? We've got 36 gold. I'm heading back down to so life. I don't want you anything from you. I'm heading back down to what I think is the anvil. Yes, the anvil. All right, so upgrade is going to cost us 12 on something. Let's upgrade you. There we go. Damn, 26 the next upgrade. Balls, not enough. All right, but maybe if this is a danger zone, which it is, we can if we're careful. Yes, we will get enough gold. So hit you. Hit you. Grab the spirit. Sleep. Right, go there. Go there. Well, that got you for a lot, didn't it? Alright, let's sleep again. Unexpected good progress. She's doing well, isn't she? Maximum health. You know what? We're going to sleep again for four apples. We have no choice, actually, because we don't have the altar. Take that, we get six shield down there, and we're gonna sleep again. This is gonna cost us one health. Alright, we got the altar. Good, good, good. So I'm just looking in my mind the best path to take. So it's gonna be hit you. Grab that. Move across. Hit you. Move across. Hit you. Move across. Grab that. And for free health and free apples, we can sleep. So let's do a sleep. And I notice I've got burn five here. All right, so let's sleep. All right. We're going to use our special power. No, we're not. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that. We're just going to go to the altar. All right, so we get the feather. So we've got one more card. Equipment chest. Be something awesome. Okay, gives you three provisions. No. Inflicts two burn and damage to all enemies. That's what we take. Confirm. Alright. Go to cards. And put you there at the front. Close that. And we're going to go back down here. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And we're going to up... Yes, 34. We're going to upgrade something. We'll upgrade you. Yeah, we will upgrade you. You, you were worth upgrading. All right, now we've got one more level to play. But look here. Have you noticed? We've got something to the right. Let's go right. And the holy leaf gives us three more luck. All right. Oh, no, that, that wasn't lucky going into you. I do want, do, still don't want to buy your stuff. All right. This will be the final round of this area. Alright, looking at these enemies, what do we got? Okay, everyone's got frost. So let's just burn you all. Well, that was rather magnificent, I must say. Um, 
Huh, okay. Not great positioning to actually move around. You know what? We'll, 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 we'll sleep. We will sleep. Okay, let's sleep again. Cloak is in a bad position. That refills us, that kills you, that grabs the wood, and sleep for one health and three apples. Okay, more apples, which is going to help us. Okay, that's health. That's lots more restore. Alright, we can actually do you and you. And we can sleep again. Okay, so we move to the chainmail that's going to give us 10 shield. And we've got the altar there as well. We will be going to the altar. Okay, but how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Alright, let's go up. So there was double damage that happened there from him, and that's because he was on the board, I think. All right, we're going to leave because we will restore everything. Okay, and this is a new area. I've never been to the swamps. I have not opened the swamps. All right, one extra card. And relic. What have we got? What have we got in relics? Spirit cards also give shield. As long as you have frost, your attacks inflict five poison. Yeah, I think we'll take that. And we're going to the swamps. Would you like to go to the next biodome? Yes, we would. The final biodome. All right, immediately we've got an iron... Sh oh, look at the size of this one. You know, all of this here. And there will be an extra bonus one here as well. So, cards. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll just go with what we got. But no... Let's go right. Right, so if we look here. Okay, all these new beasties. So, yeah, new things to worry about. But what are they? Inflicts two poison on you. Well, we've got to be aware of that. Okay. So, let's attack. Okay, we are going to sleep for two apples. Go across here. Everything's got bloody poison. Alright, let's do this attack here. Oh, it wasn't enough. Alright, we've got to. Damn it, poisoned. Right, let's sleep. Alright, that will... Mm. So this is really awful. We don't have anything bad. Alright. So we take the mushrooms, which gives us poison. We heal ourselves by getting these herbs. We move here, take that. We take that. I don't know what we should do next. Well, we can either take the heal. No, let's not take the health. Let's sleep for one health and three apples. So we heal ourselves, apples, attack you, grab that, we're going to sleep again because we've got this chainmail, deals 4 damage, deals 4 damage, alright, alright so we're going to go down, got you, got you, up, health, and we'll sleep again. Uh, no, if sleep's going to damage us for five health. Right, let's sleep now. We still haven't got the ultra up here. We're going to grab the armor. Go down. Grab that. Hit you. Move up. 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 And sleep is going to be three apples and four health. Give us the damn ultra. Yes. 
coins. There we go. All right, now we get the apple. We grab this. All right, burn enemies are triggered as soon as the status is applied. Adds two health potions to danger zones. When an enemy receives dodge, they get poison instead. Yes, let's take that. Now, what's this? What's this? You know what? I know exactly what that is. Let me show you. It's a portal that was unlocked. So basically, we have to make a choice. We got a relic or equipment. Let's go for equipment. Okay, we have got one of the most awesome cards in the deck, in my opinion. Poisonous Firefly. Confirm. So we go to cards. And this Firefly, as long as it's in play, everyone gets poison. We put that right at the beginning. We put that right at the beginning. And you'll see how brilliant this is. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, say so okay to this. And we can leave. And I just want to double check I've done this right. Yes, I have. All right, when we get an anvil, we're going to try and upgrade that poison to another. So we move here. We can go right. Get a plant that gives us 19 health. Go right again. Get a spirit here. But look, here again is the bonus room that we've unlocked elsewhere. So we get more gold. We go here, we go here. We go here, we go down. This is a person room. What's he got for sale? Gives one to your luck. All right, um, no, we're not gonna spend it because I think the anvil's gonna be expensive if we can find one. Okay, exploration rune, okay, those are good. But now we go in here. All right, and look at this. We've got the poison thing here. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just gently move around. Look how well they die. Grab that. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. And what is this stat here? Makes it impossible to heal HP last three moves. That's fine, but we're gonna sleep now. All right, so. We'll let that go down. Move here. The poison is absolutely brilliant when you get it. That effect is worn off, which is good. So, you know, I'm killing people just by brilliantly moving around. Okay, and we go to sleep again. We go to sleep and we hope, we hope, oh, we didn't get it for the anvil. All right, but this should still be okay. So down, get the wood, get the health, go up. Go up, hit you. Move across, move across. Move down. Grab you, grab that, and then we go to sleep. And look, our anvil's arrived. So if we go here, we are gonna use our special ability to do lots of damage and start to level that up. Oh, uh, do, we, do, we, do we take some damage and get... Actually, what is this? Spend the night allows you to draw new cards. Okay. Um, no, we'll get the chain mail. Hurt them. All right, and we're gonna sleep again. Five apples. My footsteps kill things so easy. Okay, it's going to cost us six health to sleep now, but we might as well. Because we can heal ourselves a little bit. Grab that. And go down. So what have we got in this altar? Well, we've got one more health and an equipment chest. What's that going to give us? So it gives you two shield for every enemy in play. As long as this card is in play, it gives plus one to all provision gold. Um, gives you five shield, inflicts you incurable. All right, well, that's awful because you can't heal HP. Yep, we'll do that. The Ring of Shields. 
and they're also an altar, not an anvil. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna have free burn on all enemies in play, a random healing card, and shuffles all cards in play. We're gonna put that on the flight on the fly. So now enemies will have burn and poison. All right. So, and look at this. We got the bonus room. A holy leaf. So more, more luck. Let's look at the cards. Oh, oh, we were so lucky that wasn't in play, was it? Hunting knife gone. That's in play. I think we're in a good place. Right. Go north. Go this way. Alright, so unfortunately, we had to use that. I didn't want to use that this early, but that's fine. Kill you. And I'm going to sleep. Okay, it's all about keeping that fly in play. So we've got seven apples, we can go up to nine. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six more things will appear. Alright, look at that, look at that, you're all going to die. Okay, sleep for four apples. No altar yet, but that's fine. You can see how good that poison card is. It's absolutely phenomenal. All right, and just remind ourselves of the stats here. Free burn and all enemies. Here generates a random healing card. Shuffles all cards in play. All right, so let's sleep. And there's our altar. Let's do some sleeping again. It's going to cost us free health. Got to be a little bit careful. All right, so 17 out of 20. The next sleep is going to cost us seven health. Let's do it. So we can safely move up and kill you. We have to leave now. We have to leave. Okay, let's grab that. Let's do the chest. And what have we got today? Gives you two dodge and heals you two HP. It uses two provisions to deal triple damage to all enemies in play. Gives you two. That looks good. Confirm. All right, let's cut our deck. You know what? I think that is better than the fire cloak. Yep, we'll go with this. We'll go with this build here. All right, up here. So as I said, oh my god, one hour twenty-four. Dear Lord, this is as I say a great game that you get very, very caught up into. Grab you, grab you, hit you. Go down. Grab you, grab you, grab you. All right, now we can sleep. Huh, look at this. Nothing. All right, let's sleep again. Right, let's sleep again. All 
All right, I think that's done now, so we sleep again. Yes, we've got the altar. All right, so. So the sickle, what did this do? Uses up two provisions and deals triple that amount of damage to all enemies in play. Well, how'd you like that? Four apples, two health. We could afford it. Let's just sleep and see what it gives us. So four, eight. I feel we're going to be all right. There we go. We got a ten altar. We had to work a little bit for that, but we got a ten altar. So this allows us to have one more thing. Right, again, I'm going to move that to there, I think. And relic chest. Be a good one. Double all your HP healing. When you heal HP, removes all your negative stats. Use a special power. Also gives you free dodge. We'll take that. We'll take that. So we know if we got a tricky situation, we can use the dodge. And this is the boss fight. So basically, all we've got to do is defeat that boss. Now, look at this card here. Gives you two shield for every enemy in play. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve shield. Why would we not do that? There you go. We're just working through this. The big boss, the big boss here, is having a bit of trouble. He's having a bit of trouble. And the boss is dead. So all we need to do is touch their stone. Oh no, he moved it. Bollocks. Alright, I've got to sleep. Silly mistake. Silly mistake. Well, we know the boss has been defeated, so we can go boom, boom. All right, so we've unlocked some here. Iki be praised, here you are, but so hell, what happened to your leg? It's nothing, just a scratch, a good glass of mead, and he'll be back on his feet. Dad, stop pretending... Dad, stop pretending you're hurt. We, that's a bear. Ah, okay, maybe not a bear. We've got to get back to the village. Okay, a magical person. All right, so following the bear tracks is complete. That's another mission that has been done. So victory, score 87. You bring 22 wood, you bring back two points. So we go back to the village and we hail this person. And we've unlocked this, a tree seed. All right, so if we go down here, and this is now the end of the video. Okay, Dad's hurt quickly, but we've got to. Oh, Pumpkin, calm down. I'm fine, you're fine. And everybody else seems to be. Wait a minute, Grigory still hasn't come back. No, not yet. Do you know which direction he went? By the time he came down from the watchtower, he might not have. Dear Lord, yak, yak, yak. Bloody yak. All right, God, people that talk too much. Um, all right, so we're going to go to the workshop here. And we've got three stones. We've got three stones that's underneath my head here. Let me move myself. So you see three stones and 22. So we are going to unlock that. I believe in doing it in the order that's there. All right. And then we're going to close out. And now, now we've got 22 wood to use somewhere. Okay. Um, I want to check the watchtower actually. Okay, that can't be upgraded. Alright, so we're going to go to the sanctuary. And we're going to use our wood. Or upgrade. And it should be... Boom, there you go. Rebuilt. Upgrade to level 3. No, not yet. Close that down. And we are going to go to the workshop. And we will upgrade you as well. Upgrade to level 2. Add some wood. And that is it. That is it. But look, we can carry on. 
our journey but when you carry on your journey it resets everything so everything you can't build the uber winning character for want of a better word it all gets reset which is like mm, no 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 um so you know you've got to bear this in mind when you when you go on your little journeys here um you know everything is default but when you've played around a lot with it one last thing you can do i mentioned it in the demo you can go into the tavern and you have all these characters that you've unlocked so far um you can edit their stats and as long as you start you cannot exceed 26 points um, we've now got points for luck i think i said 25 on the uh, demo i did but yeah we can sort of minus these and we can add these there um and become you know we have eight provisions only two cards so yeah you can really tailor the game to how you want to be doing it but this is a lovely game as i say this has been a bit of a long video but i truly truly hope you've enjoyed it for just over 10 quid you do not get much better deal than this you know it's i i, I haven't even noticed the time gone on you know just for reference yeah it, we are an hour and a half into this just over an hour and a half and it's gone by just like that it really has but yeah thoroughly enjoyed this this is available on steam all of you stay safe all of you take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye gentlemen's pixel club the ultimate game channel on YouTube.